Hello YouTubers and welcome to another video from Sephiroth 125. Today this is going to be a tutorial for grading in effect. It's a um, pink and blue. It's pink at the base, blue at the bottom with a white dyeing detail. Spot detail. And if you like to stay tuned to see this um, tutorial and the items that you need, please stay tuned. Okay. So, what you'll be needing is just your two base colors. Um, what I did was I did a base coat of clear. Um, you're going to be needing your blue. I use NYC um, Empire State Blue, Arissa, and Flash Pink. You're going to be needing your white for your white dots. Oops, excuse me. And this is just a um, French manicure white. And on this now, I did a black base of the two pinks. I'm sorry, the pink and the blue. And then I put a lighter pink and a lighter blue. Um, you don't have to do this. I just did on one nail just to try. And the pink and the lighter pink and the lighter blue that I used was this one. Sorry about that. I got my cute ready one. Because it's going to be a lot of um, nail polish. Uh, Fumes. But the ones that I used were this simple colors, hot Barbie pink in 24-7, and this turquoise from NK. But you don't have to do that, I'm going to set it aside. You're going to be needing a top coat. Sorry about that, that's my phone. Um, I just used um, wet and wild color. I'm sorry, nail protector. This is a basic picture. And here we go. I'm going to be doing this on a practice now. You're going to need um, a kind of swabs, a dotting tool, I'm just going to be using the tip of my brush here. And I'm, I use this brush to clean up the polish on the skin. But I'm going to be doing a practice pan and a pan of acetone. Also, you're going to be needing a palette or a paper plate, some beauty dirty that you wouldn't use it for no other purposes than nails because you will poison yourself if you try to eat with it. And just a cosmetic sponge that, that's cut up. As you can see, I use that. Okay. Here is my practice nail. I don't know if you can see that too good. I think it's very easy. That's my practice nail. This is the manicure. And what I'm going to do is, I already apply my base. Now I'm going to go on to my colors. And, okay. I'm going to splatter this on really thick because you're going to need a lot. So, to find every, every single stone. And as you notice, when you blend them together, the um, base is pink, the bottom is purple, but the middle, I'm sorry, the base is pink. The, bottom, the tip is blue and the middle is purple. And it turns out a like lovely purple. You can just add glitter, but I just like to add the detail with the dots. So here we go. Just using that practice now. So what you want to do is you want to get a really good application. And what I usually do is turn it upside down and gradient the blue up a little bit. 
I would do two coats of this. Make sure you get the sides. And you just clean this up. Clean the skin up um, with a cotton swab or just a um, brush. And, I, and I, this is just one swift coat. If you're buzzing, like I said, that's not too bad because it's going to be peeling. And once you apply it, you want to let it dry a little bit, just blow on it, and do another application. Sorry, I was doing it off the angle, like so. And I'm adding, I'm noting, sorry, that I have light, lighting issues. That's because I'm doing this on my computer camera. And I have a light in the back, but it's not going to work that good. Okay, and you continue. Until you like the way it looks. And then let's break it a little purple. Ooh, that's ain't no good. And once you braid it into a little purple, you're just gonna go back in with the pink to complete it. Then you're gonna close your bottles. If you're having trouble of your bottle, just um dip them in a little cup of hot water and they should open up and then clean the base of the bottle and twist it on tight. Okay, now I'm going to do I'm gonna blow it and let it dry for a little bit. This will cut the second. Apply top coat. If you discover you have bumps, that's okay. Once you put your top coat on, it'll look right. And you also want to have a cheap top coat. I'm so uh, yeah, top coat that you want to dirty. And now we're going to move on to the dots. I use this brush to make, let me show you. I use this brush to make the dots that are here. The dots that are here. And the little dots on the inside. Okay. As you can see, this palette has been used a lot. And I'm going in with my white. Let's press a nice little bit. Into my brush. And I'm going to go in a diagonal from the tip to the base. If you have bumps, you also can use this to cover any big bumps that you have. And I do my dots fairly quickly. And I would do this on one finger instead of all of them, but it's your prerogative. Do as you like. And I'm doing this on the tape. Okay. So here we go in. With the little dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to load it on the brush. And go in the middle. I have to hold my wrist. Sorry. Go in the middle. And barely touching the middle. Like so.
like so. If you like, you can also add a little water. A little water. Like so. And then all you need to do is add your clear protector and you're done. Here's the finished product. Please wait, comment it, subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions or requests, sorry, this was a request from Raquel Kabani. Go check her out. If you have any requests, um, please let me know. You also can catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash custom nails and you can leave me messages or friend me. And thanks for watching. Cool.